Hello, beautiful being. Welcome. Oh, interesting. I know that <laughs> put in there. <laughs> I was just about to say um, that in today's check-in, we're going to bring in the divine feminine energy. And next thing you know, the moon card uh, just wanted to say hello. So uh, I will leave it there. Okay. There is a theme for today. I was pulling this card the other day. Um, beautiful rose card. Um, which says, I hope you can see, it's the alchemist. Um, and I'm actually going to read it. Okay, just give me a second. Can I pause? Okay, I have all other bunch of card decks, but this one. Okay, so today we're going to bring in an obnoxiously pink energy, which is the uh, heart chakra. Now, a lot of, um, you know, the heart chakra is depicted with the green energy, uh, the emerald green. And um, what most people don't know is that it's actually the masculine side of it, the green and the pink. It's the feminine aspect of the heart chakra because the love is not just, you know, all um, lovey-dovey love the energy of love and the energy of the heart has a lot of power in it as well so the green heart represents the masculine aspect of the energy and by masculine i mean the masculine energy and the pink represents the feminine energy so um right before i read it today i wanted to um share this message that came through and then the card really came out to explain it. As light workers, we have a lot of um power and a lot of um ability to alchemize the dark energies, the low vibrational energies, the negative energies. So um a lot of us witness injustice. A lot of us witness um, really negative circumstances, um, low vibrational environments. Um, and the reason for that is because we are meant to transmute that. Okay. A lot of you have witnessed the darkness in certain industries. A lot of you have witnessed um the darkness in family dynamics and patterns or just you know the overall uh dark side of humanity okay this is why I've, i brought a lot of pink energy so that we can alchemize and transmute this message which is com comes in pretty heavy um and so our job as light workers as star seeds, as new earth visionaries, is to transmute that through our own experience, and then you know we can definitely uh, use that as a message for uh, for the collective. But the main goal, the main um, purpose that we have, is, comes with forgiveness. And the power of forgiveness, it is immense. <laughs> um, it has a power to alchemize all these low vibrational patterns and to raise the vibration of Earth. Now, it is a very hard thing to do. Um, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm constantly being challenged to um release my old ways of being and my old patterns and to move into my heart more closely uh more deeply and here is something that uh just just happened today okay we got the king of cups and the two of cups here all right we'll see um something that happened today is i was at the store just, i don't want to make it um whole story but I, I was at one of my favorite stores and the stuff was being really really disrespectful and just unprofessional and what I would usually do is because I just 
cannot stand injustice and I am uh, pretty sensitive to human respect in general. What I would have usually done, my past self would have created a whole thing where the person would have ended up fired and not necessarily against her, but my own desire for justice and for, you know, um, just restore balance in the world, I guess. Now, I was about to go into my old ways. But then I got this reminder of the alchemist today, and I realized that the way to do justice in the new earth is not through revenge or is not through um, through pouring even more negativity and you know go almost like going into this back and forth, but it's through neutralizing that. And you know the negative energies will eventually implode. Um, I don't mean that in a negative way. It's just this is how we are invited. I'm hearing this very loud and clear. This is a message that I've been hearing more and more often lately. It's to stop focusing on the negative energies, uh, but not in a way that we are, you know, uh, blind to it or we are bypassing or not, uh, you know, just being in our own bubble, but to pour more energy, more heart, and more love into the things that we actually love, that we actually, um, that we are passionate about, that we want to spread, okay? And so, yes, there is so much out there. Yes, there is, gosh, <laughs> the state of the world today gives us a lot to, to talk about. But it is just spreading more of that. It is bringing attention to that. And what I heard very loud and clear today is to neutralize it. Meaning what I ended up doing was, you know, just let the whole thing as it was, just made a very respectful comment. And then I went to another store where I um, you know, just bought a present for a loved one. So it means I, I spread it more love out into the world. I greeted the lady. It, it was the part of the energy that I would, the amount of energy that I would have wasted in just going out there and going to the, into that fight and maybe spending the whole day because I was, you know, resentful and all that stuff. I alchemized that into love. And now I feel like, you know, super generous, super loving. I mean, a high vibration, obviously. I was able to feel all that within me. Forgive, take a deep breath in, let the karma do um, their own thing. And so really the message is for every bit of darkness and negativity that we witness, just pour out tenfold, uh, ten times more love, more positivity, more heart-centered action, okay? Because if we end up, turning all ourselves bitter because of everything that we see uh that's just not the plan that that's not how we race into the 5d and again the world we will will bring us a lot of um reasons to just be in a constant low vibration and bitching about everything that is happening out there so it is very important to know that this is not an airy fairy message. This is really the the work of the alchemist. This is what we're here to do. So it says, time for change. Leaving something behind and casting off the energies, people, and activities that no longer serve you. Standing alone may be the way to find the answers you seek. And you are also in the position to help others find clarity and divine wisdom to enrich and powerfully change their lives. Do not be hesitant in sharing. The alchemist usually has an aura of the mysterious and the magical about them, but they are grounded individuals who effect change to their deep understanding of their intuition. Right. So the meaning is transformation, knowledge, power, intuition. 
Ta-da! All right. So let's dive into today's message. Let's see what higher guidance we can have with regards to this particular message and how we can move forward with this new earth way of being that is <laughs> compassion. Compassion. All right, so I'm feeling called to use this card deck first. Hmm. It's fundamentally a just a very different way of being. A very different way of operating in the world. And what I'm hearing is that, yes, the things that were justifiable for us in the past, we need to take a, a clean look at them and understand, are we doing this out of resentment? Are we, is this, is this having, um, is this having a positive impact out into the world? Okay, clearing, obviously. Uh, a true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mine, mine, mine to God's, God's, God's with such freedom. Okay, this is about making, yeah, the forgiveness and the clearing of your heart space is shifting us from, I want to make justice because I feel entitled and I want to save the world to... I leave this to source because I trust divine justice and I trust source. Wow. And I use justice, but it can be anything. Right? Um, anything where you feel like you do not trust source enough to restore the harmony and the balance. Obviously, we are here as our ambassadors. We are here as uh, light workers and the work is done through us. Now, the way we engage with the world is also very important. Ooh, you, you have got to be kidding me. Divine source. Help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. All right, yeah, I'm just overwhelmed by the energy, divine source. This is really surrendering. Surrendering our ego and our, you know, just desire to, you know, act in ways that are not uh, beneficial to, you know, the, the whole. And um, we are alchemists, meaning we are here to clear uh, these energies and it all comes through our heart space. But we're doing this led by divine source and in, um, in alignment with source and also in collaboration. It's a, it's a, you know, it's not just us little egos going around and if I don't do this, then nothing will happen. It's just bigger than us. Right. Okay. Um, Let's get into tarot. I really want to get a very specific message. I just pulled the cards of the Divine Feminine and the King of Cups, which is, the you know, the hard space and the Two of Cups in reverse, which is, for me, it's like lack of compassion, lack of love lack of collaboration but let's get let's get a i'm hearing that there is a very specific message that wants to come through with regards to uh, healing our heart space yeah so i was saying that a lot of us may even you know <laughs> and i can definitely relate to that because of all the hardship that we've been through some of us may need to forgive you know the whole the entire world right um we have got a lot of forgiveness too and because of that we may be blaming source we may be saying that um uh, like what's going on like i i came here to help i can i came here to volunteer i came here open-hearted i came here i came here to be an alchemist and you throw me all these rocks and all these 
Um, oh, okay. The four of wands in reverse. And it may feel like you're disconnected from source because of all the hardship that you have encountered, of all the heartbreaks, betrayals, injustice. Um, on the surface, it may have seemed like source has left has left your side. And that is not true. It's our perception and we really got to take ownership and we got to take responsibility for the role of... <laughs> <laughs> okay we got justice i'm laughing so hard right now and we got that which is transformation the alchemist um i'm loving this energy right now so let me just clarify for once right now and we're gonna dive deeper <laughs> this is so exciting yeah, the justice card just feels like it's, it's really teasing me right now. Okay, we got the Ten of Swords. Oof. <sighs> ten of Swords is heavy energy. Um, ten of Swords is like just the maximum of betrayal. Like in the in traditional tarot, it's uh there's a man depicted with like ten swords his back it's like okay you've taken on the, the whole world's burdens feels like all right let's see what else do we have three of wands so the four of wands in reverse the three of wands and the ten of swords and get another one page of swords Okay. All right, let me just pull this. These were just clarifying the main message. Mm. Okay, this, the Four of Swords for me is a card of foundation, is a card of also partnership. Uh, for some reason, I'm getting a very heavy message that's coming through. But I'm here and it's important for some of you to hear this. So let's go. Um, okay. Well, let's... Let me see the Three of Swords in this particular card because I feel like it's... Just bear with me, guys. I want to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> okay, so three of wands. Okay. All right. Uh... I'm getting the energy of betrayal um, from some sort of community, some past um, energy, some past um, environment, some past uh, situations that seemed to be successful, but the page of swords in reverse. Um, it feels like, in a way, this betrayal almost uh, broke your foundation, destabilized you. That's the word I'm hearing. Destabilized you to the point of wanting to do justice for yourself. And okay, this is what I'm hearing as well is that, um, yes, a big part of our purpose is obviously witnessing the injustice, witnessing the betrayals, witnessing everything that is wrong with this world. Um, but it, oh, okay, 
But unless, <laughs> this is the message, thank you. Unless we alchemize it within ourselves and unless we clear our side of the street, unless we clean our side of the street and we become source energy, pure source energy, we're not going to serve our purpose right. Page of Swords in reverse. Um, because we will be in this wounded warrior energy and we're trying, we're going to try to get uh, things uh, the, the karmic way. Um, the new earth is all about divine justice, meaning trusting source, meaning uh, creating with source, uh, and not creating from a wounded place and from an unhealed place. So we need to transform all this um, energy of, you know, which comes from ego. And ego is, you know, the part of the wound and the walls of protection that we have uh, built around us from our past uh, karmic situations that have left us in this Ten of Swords energy of betrayal and unstable. So this is really the message that wants to come through today. We have a lot of forgiveness to do. In the beginning, it may seem unjust, right? Like, oh, people are getting away with things. That's just an illusion. That's not the, the truth, uh, right? Justice can also mean truth. The real truth <laughs> is that we are here to neutralize all these energies. The truth is that as we release this, as we transform and as we let go of these past old ways of being, um, we are actually freeing ourselves. We are actually liberating our heart. We are actually um, we are actually expanding into five D because our hearts are um no longer in that wounded space from which we can, we are tempted to take um, action that is not in alignment, that doesn't come from a pure space. I just want to very quickly see if this Page of Swords has a message for us. And if not, we're just going to wrap this up with a beautiful rose message and a word your life message as well oh, are the pages <laughs> okay so the page of swords in this particular card deck is not displayed <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Okay, no, it's here. Diplomacy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dip <laughs> yeah. Diplomacy, vigilance, tact, intellectual abilities. Uh, okay, sometimes honesty, truth, integrity. Yeah. Truth, clarity. Um, in this particular reading. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay, that's it. So all this hardship energy may may make us act from a lack of integrity with ourselves and with our soul. Just because these energies feel so heavy uh, and they're not aligned with our heart, um, with our heart and with source, and can give us a distorted image of what real justice looks like so this is the card of integrity keep your integrity with self and alignment with your um heart which means that yeah sometimes you will need to heal your heart so that you can be again in a space where you can um where love can flow Okay, because if our hearts are closed from all this betrayal energy,
love cannot flow. So yes, when you protect yourself, you can, you know, protect yourself from betrayal. But you're also not allowing love to come, um, to flow through you. And so it may leave you in this space of bitterness, of um, instability, which is not why we came here. Okay, so let me pull a card from this deck to wrap this beautiful message. I'm I'm gonna be really, really honest as usual, but oof. It's a pretty heavy energy. It is pretty heavy. Um, and I'm hearing this is really clear in that we are going through until uh, end of, like until at least the 21st, which is the Emerald um, Portal, the Emerald Gateway expansion of the heart. This uh, next few weeks, couple of weeks, will be about clearing our space a lot a lot of clarity in the heart space okay we got the torn in reverse with uh protection boundaries okay the thorn i mean it's like uh the roses with thorns right it came out in reverse it means that we need to let down the our guards um there is no more need for protection in that heavy way. Um, we no longer need to, you know, bite others. <laughs> Sometimes we may be biting the wrong person just because we have leftovers from the past. We need to heal our heart space. If we want to really raise our vibration and step into new earth consciousness, we need to let go of past burdens of past betrayals yeah i mean i couldn't have picked a better card for this message with the thorn in reverse um we need to allow the beauty of our uh, obviously thorns they have their um they have their purpose but if they are like in this card you see how there are thorns all over you you can barely see the beauty of the rose. You can barely, you can no longer be generous. You can no longer really step, really um, be your purpose because your purpose is about, it's, it's comes from the heart space and, you know, your gifts are what you are here to offer to the world in an open um in an energy of openness and not, you know, guarded and close, uh, close-hearted, and it's it's definitely a an ongoing process. As I said, for most of us, myself included, we may need to just forgive the whole world. The we got the initiation. It's a rite of passage, crossing the threshold. It's interesting because I was hearing my um my mentor, she was talking about this whole heart clearing process is almost going to be like shamanic initi initiation for a lot of us. The more you purge, the more you purify, the more you clear your heart space, the more you will be able to see the actual gifts that you have and what you have to offer to the world. Because in the past, you were not able to, you were in this energy of protection or fighting with the world, in the justice energy, you see how she's like, or grumpy. Um, she's beautiful, but she's grumpy. Um, and this is the rite of passage. This is the initiation into this open, this gateway into the new earth, into, you know, heart space. It almost feels like, mm, it's like uh, the heart is cracking open a little bit and you're kind of allowing yourself to see the world through this, you know, with this beauty, I hope you can see. But if our hearts are closed, this is how we experience the world. It's all darkness, thunders, 
see. <laughs> and it's like we're always seeing evidence of how we feel on the inside. And if you're like seeking for justice, you're going to find way reasons to, you know, go out there and fight. But this is no longer what is required. We are required to, you know, pick out of ourselves um, to remove the thorns and to alchemize this past experiences into pure source energy. Neutralize them. Okay. We are no longer required to pick a side. There is no uh, need for that because the more we invest into this um, duality, uh, the, the, the more, the bigger the gap between uh, the light and the darkness, right? We need to neutralize and we need to do what we came here to do, which is. Um, spreading light love beauty um positive energies with the world well i feel like this is the message of today um and so i hope this resonated it came through very specifically and as i was saying i feel like um if you're experiencing a lot of um heavy energy i'm personally experiencing a lot of headaches just like the energy of like Arr. that is because your heart there this is an indication that there is maybe a different way of doing things there is maybe a better way of doing things and that we need to transform and transmute and clear a lot of you see how this is the green a lot of the heart space okay um all right I will uh, end this reading here. I hope it resonates. Let me know in the comments below um, how this message uh, landed for you. And I will see you guys in the next one very, very soon. Take care and bye for now.